Welcome to Touchweight Management channel. This is Yuji Nakamura. I'd like to show you about moment of inertia of the hammer in this video. Shall we look at how the hammer moves in the action? The hammer rotates at the center pin as a pivot point. The flange doesn't rotate, so only rotate hammer head and shank. To get moment of inertia of a object, we calculate mass of a part multiplied squared distance between the pivot point and mass center of that part, and then adding up all parts within this object. Let's get moment of inertia of these hammers. First, we take photocopy. The flange was taken off. I marked on the shank every 4 cm. So this hammer assembly was divided into 4 parts. These star marks are mass centers of each block. First shank A is knuckle part, second shank B is second here, and third shank C is here, and then last hammer head is here. Prepare a fulcrum. I use square gauge double sided tape with a height, height gauge. Mass center of this hammer head is on the line of fulcrum. Almost center line of hammer crosses mass center. We need another line to pass the hammer head. Mark mass center to the point where two lines cross. Do same to other two hammers. Now we are measuring distance between flange center and mass center of the hammer head. First, measure mass center from the top of the hammer. Then mark that measurement on the copied original hammer. Measure between mass center of the head and shank flange center on the copy. Record that measurement and do same other two hammers. Here is the calculation. Shank A part, knuckle part is 9, shank B second part is 29, shank C third part is 80, and hammer head has 2017 gram squared centimeter. So whole moment of inertia of this hammer equals 2134.5 grams centimeter squared. Of course, we can't cut uh, shanks to get a moment of inertia of the actual piano. So we use alternative way like this. So moment of inertia of the hammer equals strike weight multiply squared length strike weight. Strike weight can be measured by Stanwood method. Length strike weight is glued length measure like this from center pin 
to center of hammer wood. So this is the sample from base. Actual moment of inertia is 2134.5. Calculated inertia is 2146.3. A difference between these two is 0.6%. We get very close figure by calculation. Next, the sample from middle section. Actual measurement was 1542.9. Calculated amount is 1605.5. And difference between them is 4.1%. The sample from treble. Actual moment of inertia is 1038.5. Calculated of value was 1081.6. Difference between them was 4.2%. Tolerance is not crucial because more important thing is to achieve heavier or lighter from original touch weight. We can use only calculating method because we can't cut shanks anyway. So this was how to get moment of inertia of the hammer. Would you like to feel moment of inertia by yourself? More torque is required if the object has more moment of inertia. Put hammer flange onto the solid base. The hammer travels parallel to the ground, then giving acceleration by pushing the roller. The hammer was accelerated. When returning, I push the shank from another side. If you did continuously, you can feel moment of inertia of the hammer because you get torque every time at pushing and pulling. You feel weight that is inertial weight. Try treble hammer next. Push and pull roller and shank continuously. Compare treble and base hammers at the same way. You feel difference between two. You feel base hammer very heavy and difficult to move continuously. On the other hand, Treble hammer can be moved very easily and quickly. So this was how to measure and calculate moment of inertia of the hammer. I'm going to show you next about weapon. Looking forward to showing you.